Okay, we won the die roll. We'll play first. Oh, geez. It's a little awkward. I think it seems wrong to mulligan this, though. What I like, actually, about this hand is blossoming defense with larger than life is kind of nice, actually. It kind of kind of gives you the safety if you're, you know, because larger than life is a little bit of a dangerous spell to cast, so. Okay, that was a good draw. Sure. So if I draw land and I play the steed, Am I discarding a larger than life to rummage? I'm not sure if it's worth it. Larger than life is a way to push through an extra four damage, so it seems like something we'd want to do. There we go. So we can go Steed or we can go Hydra. Or we can go double larger than life. Um, why don't we go Steed for that reason? We can get in for six right now. And then next turn we can get in for 14. So that's actually 20 damage if our opponent gets a little, uh, a little ahead of himself. We've got lethal. Um, I don't think we ditch any of these four cards, by the way. No rummage necessary. All right. Let's get in for our six. So opponents tapped out. This is a good opportunity to cast double larger than life and get in for 14. So we'll force a chump here. If I draw a green mana, we've just, I imagine, have lethal. All right. I mean, opponent's going to have to chump with pioneer. And at this point, if we draw green mana, our opponent's dead. Our opponent is dead if we draw green, so that is pretty crazy. All right. Did not draw the right color, unfortunately, but that's still still in pretty good shape here. So let's force the... Yeah, we got to force the chump here. It's too bad he has the blocker, huh? Well, this might make my opponent a little more cautious. Um, should I hold the mountain? I top out at five. I think I'm actually going to hold the mountain. All 
All right, well, it's tapped out again here. Hmm. All right. So both of our guys need to be blocked. Oh, well, GG's. Turns out Built to Smash is a good card when your opponent's at one life. All right. Hey, larger than life, getting there. Okay, so we're playing against green-white. They've got some offensive cards. They have some defensive cards, so they're just your a standard little mid-range strategy. Uh, sideboard options are what? Aruna's Gremlin, a Demolish, an Incendiary Sabotage, some Puzzle Knots. Puzzle Knots deal with the Pioneer. If he spits out the... The one ones um, doesn't deal with artisan too effectively, so so far I'm not really feeling any of our sideboard cards. Gremlin for sky skiff doesn't seem worth it, nor does demolish sabotage doesn't seem worth it. So I guess we'll stick to the same plan and try her again. I, we could do takedown, but that doesn't even deal with the vehicle very effectively. It does deal with pioneer potentially, but I don't like it enough. So let's stick to the same thing here. Well, there's a Bomac Courier with a Built to Smash. Um, <laughs> I don't know about this. This seems a bit... Around the draw, can't even do anything with two mana. Probably need to mulligan. Alright, this hand's ugly too, but the Cathartic Reunion, I guess, lets us do something. We'll see what we draw. I'm probably going to have to cast Cathartic Reunion, um, discarding a mountain, and maybe maybe two mountains, or yeah, probably two mountains. We'll see. Well, the problem with that is if I don't, well, I should probably draw a land the, the next three. Yeah, I think we're just going to Discard two mountains and hope to come up with some green mana or some other good cards. Okay, good enough. So we'll drop a Scourge next turn. Still don't have a green mana, but that's all right. Cathartic Reunion at least looked good there. What do we got, Rhino? Very good. All right, let's go Scourge and get in there. And next turn, probably the Genius, maybe into the Familiar. Start digging. a built to smash on an artisan that was really bad draw hmm so now we're kind of weak to any sort of combat trick aren't we huh it's a little more difficult 
I think we're actually going to play the filigree familiar and we're going to have to be defensive here. This way if we get combat tricked at least we basically just lose one card so this will have to do. I don't really want to use a built to smash to kill an artisan. It's not going to help the race. Well, opponent found second color. Okay. Well, this is okay with me. Let's see if our opponent's splashing. I'm a bit curious. Nope. Okay. Oh, this is great for us. Yeah. I'll definitely trade my Scourge off for a... Trade a 3-3 for a 3-4. I mean, it's a steal. I don't even know why my opponent wants to do that. Uh, okay, so Grub. I guess we can swing with Familiar. I'll trade a Built to Smash since I'm trampling over now for the Artisan. And then we'll drop a Grub. And even if my opponent were to double block there. Uh, all right, well, now we don't have to play the Grub. I guess we play a Monitor. Ah, I guess the Genius. We're still going to have to dig. I mean, the Monitor is better with the Built to Smash, but the Genius is going to hopefully, ideally, find us some green mana here. If we didn't have that Cathartic Reunion, we never would have seen a green mana. All right, Durable Handicraft's a good way for my opponent to win via some late game value. Ah, another Rhino, huh? It's pretty good. What am I rummaging away? When I play the monitor. Am I doing it to the Outrider just because I'm so far from casting it currently? Alright, so we've got our green mana. Which means we can build the Smash Plus defense now. It's not bad. So. Do we just bash with both? I guess so. Put us a mana away from this handicraft going off. So let's go attack first because we have to see how we're casting built to smash or defense or whatever combination of those two we're doing. That's the only block, huh? It's kind of interesting. Um, do I even want to build to smash? I guess. And then I can play a monitor and then I can rummage away something. Do I even want to rummage away the Outrider now? I mean, that's the question. I can also cast Blossoming Defense. Now, the reason to do this is basically I'm only trampling over for one, so I can save this for, for more damage later. I lose Hexproof ability, but our opponent's not really shown us any interactive uh, spells. Plus, our green man is more of a... Yeah, I think because our green man is more of a, a limited resource, no pun intended, I think this is going to work better. So we'll do this, and we'll play our monitor. Opponent really should have blocked Wanderer on the Genius, I think. I would have. 
I mean, at this point, you just got to sort of, I guess you don't have to. We'll see what our opponent does, but maybe they just really want to save up for that. They really want that durable handicraft six mana up so they can do something spicy with that. Okay, well, our round one opponent uh, timed out. Disconnected, timed out, so we got the win. Uh, sorry we didn't get to play it out more for you, but I will take a win, and we'll see you in round two.